Hey guys, welcome back to the fall. We've got a decision to make. This button will uh, unflood this area and hopefully the floors below it. But it will kill all of these robots. Is it worth it to save our pilot? Well, I'm gonna go with yes. Because... This is how we do it. Protect our active pilot. All costs. Lights can now be seen in the break room. What's in here? An old beverage machine. Interesting. Mr. Coffee. An aquarium. And another aquarium, right? Hey, what's this? Information panel. That's cool. Jawfish. At first glance, the indigenous jawfish is unremarkable. They become compelling when understood as creatures of extremity. Extremity. While in proximity to a possibly fertile breeding partner, jawfish become fixated on one another and generally docile to other species. It is when they are in isolation, however, that they become extraordinarily aggressive. When testing their territorial ferocity, we separated them with metal gating. They bit right through the steel. This couple has been here for several years now and are quite safe. Well, I'm gonna question that based on them not being there. Information panel. Let's read this one. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still a little sick. I've slug. Perhaps the most fascinating indigenous species we have discovered is the hive slug. Thank you, David Attenborough. Capable of growing to a tremendous mass, they will reproduce asexually when a suitable mate is not available. These enlarged hive slugs become colony queens and they dwarf the drones which we more commonly see. A queen cycles through two biological stages, brooding and foraging. When she has sufficient nutritional reserves, a queen will produce a clutch of eggs then enter a dormant state while they incubate. Once her eggs are gone, she will return to her foraging state. This is perhaps the most compelling aspect of the species. The primary function of drones is foraging, and once they have consumed an adequate amount of food, they return the, to the queen and enter her body through an orifice at her base. Drones will deposit the partially digested material and then return to foraging. The cycle continues until the queen is ready to spawn a new clutch. That is actually relevant information, believe it or not. I don't have a cup for the coffee machine. One thing I wanted to mention is that uh, the game did start me a little ways back. Basically as soon as I got off the elevator on this floor, so I may be missing one or two things. Oh jeez. One or two things that I had before. Hopefully not. Um, cool, let's uh, go put it in the drink machine. If I am missing something, I'll just go and grab it off screen. So don't worry about that. Otherwise, uh, progress shall be made. Secreted a thick, syrupy liquid. Mr. Coffee. Right next to Mr. Radar, if anyone gets that reference. And if you don't, you're a bad person. How did he put this up so quickly is what I'm wondering. I don't know. Uh, this... This one went down. This one... Or... Should go down further. Yes, that's how elevators work. Now I'm recording this on a Tuesday. For posting on a... Oh jeez, jawfish. That We're posting on a Wednesday. Solid steel to catch those insects. That's a little My intimidating. Not withstand it. I will have to avoid the water. Gotcha. Floating wooden plank. Hmm. Bugs. Well, this is a puzzle. I'm guessing that didn't work though. So yeah, um, I'm doing a little bit of just-in-time uh, recording right now. 
to be totally honest. And so we'll see how that goes. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I know I put a thing on that and it attracts the bugs, but I don't entirely remember what it is. Let's try to find out. Um, an open slot labeled detergent. That does not work. That does not work. And that does not work. Okay. Well then. Insects seem attracted to something in this machine. So, alright, so it seems like the liquid I got out of it, this stuff, should, uh, should work. Let me try that again in a slightly different way. I think it's pretty funny though, uh, how your priorities kind of come out when you have limited time. Because it is 5 of 9 o'clock right now. And I have like three different things due tomorrow. There we go, it works. Several different projects due tomorrow, uh, none of which are done. It's nine o'clock and I'm recording because I love you guys. Hey look, uh, space-based inventory items again. I love those. That was weird, it froze a little bit. This is the peak. Bitch. Well. Yeah, it would have been a little bit difficult come through here with it still alive. This terminal's cables are severed, likely by that fish. I cannot... I may be able to network through the terminal and access the power matrix remotely. That would be useful. Let's try that. I think the networking uh, mechanic in this game is pretty cool. I've probably said this already. We gotta override that matrix again and kill those robots. It's alright. They're less alive than people, right? I've totally forgotten what I was saying. Wow. Um... So fish, all right, fish, let's just make progress if I can't remember what I'm doing. Dice up the fish. That's what you do, right? When you're uh, in a stressful situation is you shoot a fish and with, with a gun because fuck it and go on your way. Now, what I am doing probably doesn't make sense, but it is forethought, I promise. They did say there was a pair of fish, right? And they did say that they were docile when they're near each other. And I saw one fish which was angry. Which means another angry fish is somewhere else. Now what happens if I convince that fish that I am this other fish? The answer is, uh, gets a little clingy, but... Otherwise, only good things. Fish guts, now covered in a sticky substance that smells like fish innards. It is either organs, or blood, or urine. So, I don't know, Bear Grylls, eat your heart out. In the meantime, I'll take a diagonal elevator. I remember what I was saying before, I've got tons of shit to and I'm recording. So I'm only recording this episode now, and I'm actually having uh, a lot of fun with this right now. So I'm glad I decided to do this. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need to do work after this. should be able to enter the water now. The fish has become very affectionate, it is rubbing against my legs. Yeah, 
mainframe system access panel. Let's go punch it. He went through with it. That's rough. It was not an easy choice. It totally was. When we have the real power to choose, not just the illusion, it does something. Leaves a print you can't just override. That's true. When I return to Doc, I will Except it's not it. true. These events will be erased from my memory logs. For that reason. Is that your choice too? Irrelevant. There you go. Acquire data responsibility, sure. Do you hold yourself responsible for the caretaker's victims? Ooh, that's Relevant. harsh. But no. Or, I don't know. Kind of worse. I wonder if I'm responsible and I never find an answer. That never we will. You always have clear directives. Follow your protocols. Eric, they don't give answers. No, they don't. Well, you but ready they for this? give this you actions. Scenario? It is. Then, what can I say but yes. It's interesting that the middle one, uh... Boop. The middle one was, uh, network. And these two are buttons. Like I said, uh, networking is a cool mechanic that isn't really used enough. And by the way, that gets you an achievement. I already have it though, so... Get it yourself. Uh, speaking of getting it yourself, I think I've forgotten to say for a few episodes, I do have a copy of this game, which I'm giving away for free. Leave a comment on the video, like it, and leave a comment saying, if you were a robot, what kind of robot would you be? And that is the slug about to crawl up another slug's butt. Okay. That is enormous. And kind of creepy, yeah. On this in the lab where they were studying these creatures. Man, if only we'd read that before, right? Good thing I did. There we go. All the eggs are gone. And so it wiggles. That wasn't massive for anything. I will have to be cautious of possible damage. True. So yeah, um try and win the uh win the game. Cause uh I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna give away this game, this copy of the game that I'm not using. So it's win-win, right? Now, we actually want to do this. And now, a purple slug, which is kind of weird. But kind of cool. And the uh, hive mother starts to glow. You may recall that uh, that when we pick these up. Okay, this is this I forget how to do. But when we pick these up. Someone happened to say that when they were mixed, uh, it goes boom. What could I be planning? Ooh, broken pipe. Broken pipe, hot water. So I've got a shoe cover and a hand, and I don't think either of those are used again. So, uh, that's the thing. That's one thing that bugged me a little bit on my first playthrough, is, uh... There isn't forced inventory cleaning, which kind of gets to be necessary with a game like this, where you're just going to have to go through the inventory every time you interact with something. It gets to be a hassle. Now, I think there's something in here I need. I've already used this, already done that. That just says, hey, it explodes. There was the knife there, that's the coffee. What am I doing except narrating right now? I don't even remember. Wow, my nose is running. That is not pleasant. Ladies and gentlemen, pro tip, don't get sick. It's not fun. It's not worth it. It is a scam, and those who are responsible will be held responsible uh, soon enough. By which I mean that I'm taking meds. 
So, I'm not contagious, you won't get sick by watching my video, I promise. Nor will you get sick from the computer virus that's on your computer. Because that's not how those work. It's important to remember that. Okay, so... There's definitely a way to do this, I just need to remember what it is. Unfortunately, we've cleared 15 minutes, which means that I'll remember what it is in the next episode. So, I'll see you guys then. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time on the fall. Wake, 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 wake. God, those things are disgusting.